welcome Michael Moore to the new right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I don't know if you've seen his new documentary, Planet of the Humans. Well, he destroyed the whole new left energy movement, the whole new left green movement in one film, better than any right wing has done it. So uh, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to discuss that documentary tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever thought maybe Michael Moore is a secret right winger? Have you ever considered this? You know, underneath all that kind of, you know, liberal do-gooder, you know, lefty bullshit that he goes on about. I mean, I don't know if you ever heard that speech he gave uh, that was kind of pro-Trump that was in that documentary he made about Hillary Clinton. It was basically 90 minutes of, of bullshit about Hillary Clinton being wonderful. And then had five minutes where he kind of played devil's advocate, where he tried to... Um, uh, you know, like say why people might actually vote for Trump. And actually, I'll put a link to the to that at the bottom of this report from Tiger Mountain because you should check that out because it's actually one of the best defenses uh, of Donald Trump there is, actually. It was done by Michael Moore. So there must be some secret right-wing side inside Michael Moore somewhere because, and it's happened here. He's clearly aware of the arguments of right-wing people against the whole new energy, green energy. I mean, one of the things that, you know, Jordan Peterson and um, he's one of the more lucid ones on the topic, but for many people, on, including, you know, Gavin McInnes, including uh, Milo, including Paul Joseph Watson, all these guys, that have constantly mocked um, the idea that, um, you know, green energy is going to be able to replace um, fossil fuels and coal and things like that. And there, in this documentary, that's exactly what happens. Um, he totally destroys um, the whole um, green energy movement. And, I mean, you've just got to watch the film for yourself. It's quite extraordinary. You know, he goes to show that the whole thing is a complete joke and that the industry has been taken over by um, nefarious capitalist globalist swine. And he really talks about the globalist class in this film. I mean, you know, from a left wing perspective, and that's what's really interesting when you see the left begin to come to the same conclusions as the right. You know, I think we're kind of on the same page in many ways. Um, you know, it's, it's very, very interesting. And you should definitely check it out. Um, you know, he, he shows how people like Gore are corrupt and he's in bed with a guy called Blood, which he, and he says their partnership could be called Blood and Gore, which is quite funny. And he shows how the left movement and the green movement has been betrayed um, and that there's been a corporatization of it and the green energy is vastly expensive and it use pre uses precious metals and, and things that are, like it uses way more fossil fuels that actually if you just use the fossil fuels to get the same amount of, uh, of energy, it, he really um, destroys the green left movement uh, and the fact he's from the left it's kind of rather brave of him i think to do it and he's received a lot of criticism just put his name into the, uh, and controversy and you'll see all the people on the left who hate him for doing this because it's a scam and he's pointed it out now um i think it's very interesting he's done this and uh, i think we should applaud him for doing it and um he's always been an interesting filmmaker and someone like steve bannon he says, look, you know, Michael Moore is someone <clears throat> from the opposite side of politics as me, but he's a good filmmaker. And I've always felt similar. He's, so, he can, he's a good polemicist. And when he gets on a topic, he's very interesting. And I think he's done that with his film, Planet of the Humans. And I think all right wingers should watch it. Um, he comes to a kind of very dark. He doesn't question the, the narrative of climate change, which I do and, and many others on the right wing. So he hasn't gone that far. He still believes we're in some um, major climate catastrophe. And I don't know, maybe there's always a possibility we are. Um, and he seems to go for the depopulation um, uh, agenda uh, when you watch the documentary, which is a much darker um, environmental turn, which is almost like environmental fascism. So he seems to endorse kind of environmental fascism um, at the end of the film. So that's something I'm actually going to say uh, for another podcast. It's very, very interesting. So um, have a look at it. The new Michael Moore documentary, Planet of the Humans. He's gone definitely a little bit right wing and it's certainly upsetting a lot of left wingers. So you should share it on Facebook, watch it, discuss the film, write essays about it. And, um, you know, consider this depopulation agenda. Obviously, that, that ties into the, the globalist um, depopulation agenda that people like Bill Gates and many others have been uh, accused of um, uh, promoting. So I'm going to save the whole depopulation um, thing for another podcast, for another report from Tiger Mountain, because it's a huge topic. Um, but, yeah, just check out the new Michael Moore um, documentary. It's upsetting everyone. And upsetting everyone is always a good thing.